What's up everybody? Welcome back to EVE Online. We're doing a little bit more mining. Uh, I'm just gonna check I'm where I sold my ore previously and I think I'm gonna make this my little mining hub just to, I don't know, you know, it. Uh, I, I, I made a decent amount of money here. So let's just make sure I have, uh, yeah, I got my drones, I got that, I sold everything there. Yeah, all right. So we're just gonna undock and see what's in this system and go from there. All right. Notice that I'm being tethered. If you fly to a man-made station, a lot of times they'll have like a repair module that will repair you for free. So I'm at Fort Glorty. I gotta remember that. All right, I'll just pick one at random, 10, one, and see what's here. There's no signatures or anomalies. Well, now there's no signatures or anomalies, but really we're mostly just looking for anomalies because that's where the mining things show up. So let's go check out this asteroid belt and see what's there. Oh, a plex vault. Oh, all right, first I've seen of that. Okay. I'll drop my drones. I'm gonna check it out by name. So Veldspar, Scordite, Omber, Plagia class, Rich Plagia class. I'm gonna approach that because if I look over here at Fuzzworks, right now Plagia class sells for 279 isk per cubic meter. Yeah, looks like my drones are defending me, so that's good. So these are much bigger. You'll see the larger uh, icon here. And I gotta get within 10, within 10 kilometers. Somebody else is out here mining, I believe, but all right. I'll just set myself up here. And get to work. So this will be pretty quick because you don't want to. You don't want to sit and watch me mine up a, an ore hold full of plagia class. But um, looks like I'm taking a little damage. But let's target that. And I know that my drones are fighting. I just don't know how effective they're being. It would be nice if they healed it, or if they killed that guy before I got into my armor because. Yeah, that's not going to happen. Okay, well, I should probably align. Remember, we're in 10-1. And we're going to Fort Glorty. Alright, I got my... Come on. Come on. Get out of there. Oh, Nelly, that was close. Okay. Well, I guess we'll get to see. That was stupid of me to be that cocky. So, I guess what I should do is trade in these shitty civilian hobgoblins and buy others. But while uh, while I think about it here, let's see. Uh, so, I'm going to do like I was saying right when I undocked. I'm going to tether up which is, you can see this line here, it means I'm tethered. And I believe that this will repair me. Yep, here we go, see? It starts repairing and you can see all these three start to fill up. So while that's happening, uh, it will also repair drones in your cargo hold. Uh, let's see, we want to look at drones, we want to look at light scout drones. And five jumps away, four, okay, well, Let's look at acolytes. Okay, there's some that are one jump out there. Hobgoblins. Oh good, there are some here. All right, so I'm gonna go in and I will either destroy or sell, maybe I'll put them in my cargo hold because I don't really have anything else to do in there. 
but I will buy a few well I'll just buy a couple they're dirt cheap but let's see I'll just buy two of those and they're in Fort Glorty so I know that that's all right, I'm almost there. And there we go. So I hover over. I see I'm at 100%. I'll dock, dock, dock up. Accepted. Oh, man, my allergies are kicking today. All right, so this game is largely about learning from your mistakes and adapting. So we made a mistake. We got a little bit of Plagia class here. Let's... Uh, yeah, I'll put it in my hangar because I, you know, might as well make more while I'm out there. But let's see. So Plagia class itself sells for 65 units, maybe 70 if I go to this place. Oh, no, wait, that's buying. All right. Yeah, it sells for 62.58 here. If I manage to find rich Plagia class... And we can also look to see, let's see here, asteroids and ore. So there are multiple types of each different ore. Uh, let's see. This is not what I was looking for. All right, so ore comes in three different classes. We've talked about this in the career agent missions, but it's worth noting again. So Veldspar comes in concentrated Veldspar, which is 5% additional minerals per, uh, it has like a higher yield. And dense Veldspar has a 10% higher yield versus 5%. Uh, Plagia class, Azure Plagia class is Five percent rich plagia class is ten percent. All right, so that's what we need to know. So if we we're going to sell rich, we could get sixty-eight, and Azure would give us sixty-five. All right, so if we can find rich, great. If we can't, that's fine. We will go back to ten one. Drop our regular drones because they're going to be much more effective. And just as a point of comparison, 150 hit points, they don't they never got hit, but instead of doing 10 hit points of damage, my new drones are going to be doing 20 points of damage. Alright, so they're gonna be doing twice as much damage. I would guess that they're going to be faster. Alright, I'm just gonna take them out first. Put this on, get myself moving. This may be too much for my little ship. Notice that, yeah, my, I haven't been hit all that much after, yeah, after starting to orbit them as opposed to just head towards uh, ore. This one should go down pretty quickly. Come on. All right, halfway through my armor. A little dicey. I would 
prefer to not warp out. Alright, so I pulled in my drones. I'll have to go heal up and then come back and then I'll be good to go. You can see I've taken some damage here. That's not good. This venture is not a very combat ready ship. In other uh, mining ships, you'll be able to house better and more drones. One of my other characters has, well, one of my other characters is, was uh, an Omega character. So they would obviously have access to better equipment. But, uh, well, while we're here, one other thing that we can do is let's look up shield partners because I think as Galente let's see here what sort of skills we've got look at the skills armor shields all right so <laughs> Let's look here. Ship equipment. Shield. Better yet. Let us simulate our ship. We'll take those off. We'll get into... Right now my shields are 258. If I get two medium shield hardeners, well maybe can I fit a, a large? Medium uh, extender? No. Okay. So, all right. So this one gives me 1178. This one gives me 1293, 1293, all right. So. That's 400k, that's 2 million, yeah, that's much cheaper. <laughs> Let's look at the market for this. Alright, so we can buy one for 60k, one jump away, and so we can buy a couple of those actually. We're using our mid slots, so we'll just narrow it down that way. And those are shield extenders, shield hardeners. Ah, uh, uh, yes. All right. Adaptive invulnerability field. Okay, I can't use the level two. But put a second one there, and I use a medium shield extender. Thirty four, thirty eight. I'm looking at this one here. Yeah, all right. Well, I could buy those and make myself much more tanky, but for the moment. I'm not going to worry about it. I'm just going to go back to what I was doing, kill that one guy, and hope that they they don't show up quite so actively in the future. But if I end up having to run away again, then I will uh, I'll go do that. So these are problems that you'll run into. We're in 0.5 space, so the pirates that we run into here are going to be more challenging and more difficult than uh, the pirates that we'll run into elsewhere so all 
All right. We want to look for rich plagia class. That's right. We'll approach. We'll put them in the light group. All right, they're out in space. I've got this one pirate coming. And there we go. All right. All right, so I set to orbit on the uh, on the asteroid because they're very close to each other so I'm just gonna hang out right here this thing by me moving very quickly it's making it challenging for it to hit me and and that's good so my drones can take it out while I don't take too much damage and we'll, we'll just go from there alright so now my drones can just mind their business while I quickly orbit the uh, these rich asteroids here and if we just want to get an idea of how much is in one of these large asteroids then we can do this and <coughs> no <coughs> Ella Bell come here so the two that I have locked right now have 21,000 to 23,000 <coughs> Ella come units of rich plagia class in it so so yeah, so I'm gonna sit out here and I'm gonna mine. I'm gonna fill my ore hold. And when I'm done, I'll start up the next video and we'll maybe come out and do a little bit more of this and grab more of it. So the first round of mining looks like it grabbed 578 units and 200 cubic meters. So that's not bad. So I'll just keep with that. I'm gonna switch over to general and see what or whom shows up out here. I might even yeah, salvage that thing. And if I get close enough, which I did, I will loot it. Yes. Not not a lot of money worth in that one, but what are you gonna do? Alright, well, I'll cut it here, but this is more of what mining involves. A lot of times you'll show up and there'll be pirates here or you'll show up and you'll start mining and then pirates will arrive. Um, either way, you need to be prepared for it and that's why I, I brought drones with me and why I went and bought a little bit better drones. So, as they say, you need to spend money to make money. I'm probably going to go back and invest in some shield hardeners and extenders for my ship here just so I, I can take a little bit more of a beating without, you know, risking my life so so easily I very nearly lost that ship there um, so don't make those mistakes but oh, oh oh we got another one oh yeah we got a drone that's great sorry I, I take joy in these small things so uh, this is more mining I'll uh, I'll start the next video right when I'm getting back to the station with uh, with what I've got from this little outing so I will catch you in the next one. Check out the Errant Gamer podcast, which uh, a couple of friends of mine and I are doing. We're also very slowly working on developing a website, errantgamer.com. Um, and yeah, there isn't a whole lot of content on there other than the podcast, just because we all have full-time jobs and it's, uh, it's a bit of a challenge. So anyway, uh, thanks for watching. If you have any questions about EVE or if you want to, you know, see videos about other games, let me know. I'm sort of looking for other games to get into and yeah, I'm open to new ideas. So thanks for watching and I will catch you in the next video.